Hello. This is the first video in the media authoring section of the KMC Essentials VOD course. Now that you've learned to upload your content to your Kaltura account, you can author it, that is, customize and polish it to prepare it for an audience. First, we'll be learning to create thumbnails. A thumbnail is an image file that is displayed when your video is not playing, hence it acts as a preview for your content. An attractive preview will guarantee a higher audience and therefore it is very important to choose an exciting image as your thumbnail. Usually the thumbnail consists of a frame from your video, but you may also use an unrelated image instead. When your video is uploaded, the KMC will automatically create a thumbnail for it. However, we also give you numerous options to change this thumbnail to one of your choosing. You may also create multiple thumbnails for the same video. This is useful if you're distributing your content to various target sites that may, for instance, require thumbnails in different dimensions. To begin, click on the Content tab to access all your assets. In the Entries table, the default thumbnail of each video is displayed in a column on the left. The KMC automatically creates a default thumbnail from the third second of your video. To change a video's thumbnail, select it from the Entries table by clicking on its name. In the Edit Entry window that opens, choose the Thumbnails tab from the list on the left. The Thumbnails tab is the repository for all the images you have as thumbnail options for your video. Currently, there is only one image here, and this is your default thumbnail. As evident, the Thumbnails tab gives you a range of information about this image, such as its dimensions, file size, distributors, status, and actions. The dimensions information is useful when you wish to replace your existing thumbnail image. By noting the current thumbnail's dimensions, you can ensure that your new image will also have the same and thus prevent a distorted appearance. The Distributors tab lists the various sites your content is being distributed to via the Kaltura distribution module. This information is helpful in creating customized thumbnails for each site. Status indicates whether your thumbnail image is ready to be used or is still converting to the right image format. To set a thumbnail image as default for your video, download a thumbnail image to your computer, or to delete it from your Kaltura account, use the respective options in the Action column on the far right. Please note that if there's only one image in the thumbnail repository, it will automatically be set as default, and to change this thumbnail, you will first need to add a second one to your repository. Also remember that you cannot delete a thumbnail if it is set as default. You will need to allocate this role to another image before you are free to delete it. I want to change the thumbnail for this video. There are three ways to do so, all mentioned in this Add Thumbnail drop-down list. We can either upload an image from your computer, grab a frame off your already uploaded video, or crop and reposition the existing thumbnail image. Please note that for all audio entries, the default thumbnail is set to an image of an audio icon. This can only be changed by uploading new images to replace it. The two other options listed here to change thumbnails are not available for audio assets. Now, let's create new thumbnails using all three of these options. To upload an image from your computer, you will need to first create this image and save it in an appropriate format such as JPEG or PNG. Then select Upload from the drop-down list, choose your image, and click Open. Remember to make sure that the uploaded image has the same dimensions as the video player to avoid an unpleasant or distorted appearance. For example, if I upload this 4x3 image as the thumbnail for my 16x9 video, it will look oddly stretched in the video player. We also recommend to upload images that are 500 KB or smaller in size so that thumbnails will load quickly for end users. Once your new image is uploaded, select Set as Default to change your thumbnail. The advantage of uploading your own thumbnail is the choice to use a high-resolution image that will make your video look highly attractive to viewers. The second option is to use the KMC to grab a frame from your video. The Grab from Video window consists of a video player with three buttons. On the left is a Play button, and on the right are a Volume button and a Thumbnail button. The easiest way to create a thumbnail is to press play and then click on the thumbnail button each time you see a frame that you find interesting. With Grab from Video, you can create as many thumbnails as you like, then close the window, go back to the Thumbnails tab, and set the best of your choices as default. 
If you're unhappy with your choices, you can always delete them all and start again. If satisfied, you can also download them for other uses on your website. The third and final method of creating thumbnails is by cropping an existing one. This is used to highlight a particular part of the image or get rid of unwanted detail in the edges. Scroll through the Choose Thumbnail list at the top left of the window to select an image to crop. To ensure that the image is cropped in the right aspect ratio, decide what ratio you'd like to use. 16x9 and 4x3 are standards for video players. If, for example, you choose 16x9 in the Crop section of the Position and Size column, enter 16 in the Width column and 9 in the Height column. The next task is to drag your mouse over the image to determine the section you'd like to keep. Pressing and holding the Shift key while you drag your mouse will maintain the aspect ratio you just entered. Once done, click on Generate Thumbnail to finish creating a newly cropped 16x9 thumbnail image. Closing this window will take you back to the Thumbnails tab where you can either set your new thumbnail as default or use it for other integration or distribution purposes. To make sure your thumbnail fits well in the video player, select Preview and Embed from the Action drop-down list for your video. From here, you can also copy the embed code to use the video with a new thumbnail on your website. Once embedded, if you change the video's thumbnail again in your Kaltura account, it will automatically update on your site too. For all video tutorials and guides, please visit Kaltura's Knowledge Center and Video Center. Thank you.